you can tell. I'm gonna be talking about the most important, like big things that I used that I had mentioned in some of my videos from when I was pregnant. So we're just gonna get right into it. The My Best Friend pillow, my breast friend pillow, that pillow is amazing because it has like, it's flat, unlike the boppy. You, you know, click it around you and it's flat. So the baby has like a flat surface to lay on. And you don't have to worry about like rolling or anything. And it's just a lot easier to use. I like it a lot. Even though I don't breastfeed anymore, I just pump. It's still definitely amazing. I would absolutely recommend it. And if you're like really set on breastfeeding, um, just get that or a bobby. You don't need it. I'm just saying it's really, it is, it makes sense why it's so hyped up. But you know, talk to a lactation consultant, join breastfeeding groups on Facebook, things like that, and constantly be looking for support if you're having trouble. Because I didn't do that and I'm okay. I'm totally happy with how I'm pumping. But if you're set on breastfeeding, I definitely recommend that. Then, next thing, I always use nipple butter. I use Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. I use it every single time that I pump because otherwise you can start to get like bruising or bleeding or cracking and that is not fun at all. So I know that some people like stop using it after a certain amount of time, but I don't. I don't see the point in risking it. But it works really well. It smells like cocoa butter and yeah, it's just perfect. <laughs> I use my Amita Maya pump. There are cheaper alternatives out there. Um, I found out about those through my breastfeeding and pumping groups that I were not, I was not a part of before I had Bellamy. So I would definitely like search on the groups for that because there's some really amazing information. I probably could have saved like a thousand dollars just from being on those groups. Okay, then we've got the Haka. That thing is amazing. If you're breastfeeding or pumping with like a single pump, you can put it on the other breast that you're not using and all the milk that will leak out will be caught in there and you can get so much milk from there. I'm an overproducer, so I got like a bunch of milk, like four or six ounces at a time just from it being on there. So definitely look into it, it's amazing. Car seat cover, obviously, you need a car seat cover. You don't need one, but you really, you need one. You know what I'm saying? I found one for $13 on Amazon. That is in my Amazon um, unboxing video if you want to check it out. Car seat mirror, you can get those from anywhere. I got like a large size because why not? And I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Boppy pillow, great for propping them up and all different things like throughout the months, three, six, nine months. It's just a lot better than like the cheaper ripoff brand boppies. And also there's a waterproof cover that you can get on Amazon so that if they spit up on it or whatever, you don't have to worry about it leaking into the pillow. That's my boy right now. Hi. Hi. Oh, Poor Bean is gonna be wide awake from this. Okay, bottle warmer. Bottle warmers are amazing. There's an Avent bottle warmer on Amazon. It's 30, 40 bucks and it works perfectly for my Tommy Tippy bottle. So I think it'll work for basically any kind of bottle. Also, I have a mini fridge in my bathroom because um, all the bedrooms are upstairs and there's no way that I'm coming downstairs every few hours, especially in the beginning, every few hours to grab a bottle or pumping parts. The next thing you're gonna want is extra pumping parts. This is if you're pumping. You don't want just one set of flanges. You want like three because you don't wanna have to be washing them after every single pump. That is insane. Um, also, I can't stress enough how important it is to pick the right size flanges. Um, I have learned so much about that as well through breastfeeding groups and that can really make or break your whole experience so very important okay also pumping bras are so important you need to be able to do something while you pump also you don't want to be sitting there holding two bottles and to your boobs for who knows how long like you don't want to do that you just don't while i was recovering from birth i really liked the depends underwear i didn't get the kind that has like um a floral design like near the band I got a kind that was like blue, 
blue ones and purple ones. And I really like those. Tux pads, super important. I would get at least two of the big containers. Um, the red cap thermoplast. I was told to use the blue cap before, and I thought maybe when I had the red cap the first time I had a baby, when I had Lonnie, I thought maybe they just like gave me that because they don't care about me or something. But the red cap is the one to get. I used the blue and it was like really weird. It was like super wet and just not great. So get the red cap. A bouncer seat is really helpful plus a swing where the seat kind of is like like this like a bed kind of you know not just like sitting up even if it can recline a bit that's like not great you want it like this for like an infant you know what i mean then for burp rags i bought a pack but they were like really soft washcloths like really soft like a blanket and i was like well, what is this so we use um cloth diapers, just like the old school ones, not like the new super cute ones, just the old ones. Why does there have to be a fly? Ugh, we use those, they're great. And then, um, having a sterilizer is really useful because, I mean, yes, you can boil their stuff, that's great and fine, but it's also really nice and easy to have a sterilizer. I don't have one that dries, but a lot of them these days will like also have a drying feature. I recommend that. If you're gonna buy one, you might as well get one that has all the cool stuff. But at the same time, if you have a dishwasher that has a drying setting, it sterilizes it for you when you do like the hot water stuff. I don't have a dishwasher. <laughs> Bless my soul. I can't wait to have a dishwasher. But yeah, so those are really the things that I used. Um, really simple like you think that you need like all this stuff you don't need a whole bunch of stuff it's really great <laughs> here's my bob he's a little snotty he's getting over some sickness he's got a few neck boogers because he drools like crazy all he does is drool isn't that right he's got two little teeth you got two little teeth huh and he just woke up from a nap but yeah i hope you guys like this video i hope it gave you some ideas about some things that you can actually definitely make use of. That's like the whole point of this is it's nothing that like I just think is cool. I think these things are, most of them, I think they're all basically necessary and will make your life a lot easier. Like I thought that I wouldn't need a pumping bra. That was hilarious. I needed a pumping bra. Okay, you need a pumping bra. I'm telling you. If you're gonna pump at all, Get a pumping bra. Also, don't buy a Willow or an LV. It's not worth it. Those are so expensive and there's much cheaper ones like 200 max, but mostly like 100 bucks, sometimes even less of things that you can get that are perfect and great. So join those Facebook groups, ladies. I'm telling you, okay? So yeah, I hope that this video was everything that you wished it would be. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, Click that bell so you can notify every time I make a new video. I make parenting videos. Okay. I make lifestyle videos, motherhood videos, makeup videos. I make all those kinds of videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. And say hi to Bob. This is the first time I've really had him in a video. And he's tired. <coughs> Whoa. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Um, um, um.